Tonight in Newcastle, a vigil for Ukraine. Health leaders from many religions, faith leaders from many religions, spoke about the atrocities happening in Europe. The keynote speaker was a woman who immigrated to the U.S. from Ukraine right after the fall of the Soviet Union. First News reporter Desiree Goslin has more of her story. We have been watching for two weeks now of just the atrocities that are happening to the people of Ukraine and the assault happening. An assault the people of Ukraine have seen the likes of before. I look at my phone, it got this punch in my gut. We are in war. Russia is bombing all over Ukraine. The whole country is on fire. That was nearly 30 years ago. But the fight for Ukrainian independence and the terrors inflicted on them span the last century. 1932 and 33, Stalin created Holodomor in Ukraine. They took every single piece, every single crumb of bread. The Holodomor was a man-made famine that killed millions in Ukraine and still impacts the current invasion. Many Ukrainian villages became empty. And right now, when you hear, well, there's pro Russian on eastern Ukraine, guess what? Villages were empty, and they brought the Russian population to fill up those empty spaces. But the message of resilience was clear to the crowd in Newcastle. We fight for our freedom, democracy, independence, our children, home, land. We don't want to be a refugee to the better countries. We want Ukraine to be the best country. Reporting in Newcastle, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.